with more on what will hopefully be a nice spring like weekend. Yeah, you know, not bad for the first weekend of April, Patrick. We are going to be uh, warmer the second half of the weekend. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pick of the day today. This one is a beautiful picture of a bunch of sunflowers, a meadow full of them, uh, sent in by Rachel in Providence. Beautiful shot there. We don't quite have that many blooms around our area just yet, but certainly marching our way into spring. This is the radar this morning and starting to get a few of those April showers right along our coastline. Cape Islands a little damp this morning and starting to creep up along the Rhode Island South Coast. We're thinking that these showers may stretch as far back as 95 later this morning into the very early part of this afternoon before clearing out and we finish out with sunshine. So it's kind of a 50 50 day light showers early today. Clear skies by the commute home from work this evening. We are going to see some gusty winds at times this weekend and then the tricky part of the forecast comes with timing a cold front next week. It's going to determine how long warmer than average temperatures last before we cool back down. It looks like second half of the week, but live city cam in Providence right now. We've had those over cast skies so far this morning, and it's been a very slow warm up. We started off in the upper 30s. We're now at 41 wind chill running at about 36. We're still at 39 in Smithfield and Gloucester, 41 South Kingstown and 41 in Newport. So it's low pressure, a storm center that's going to track far enough south and east that the steadiest and heaviest of the rain misses us, but you can see where the showers are moving up north and east and again, for a few hours here later this morning into this after early this afternoon, we'll be under the gun for a little bit of wet weather. So this is nine o'clock this morning, showing those showers trying to push in along the coastline. And by 11 o'clock in the morning, uh, if you're north and west of Providence, you can probably leave the umbrella behind. But areas south and east of Providence, including the East Bay of Rhode Island, close enough that you're probably going to want to have at least a hood on the coat. Those showers starting to move east of the area and by two o'clock in the afternoon we're back to dry skies across Rhode Island may still see some showers into the early afternoon southeastern Massachusetts including the Cape before skies again clear out everywhere and by 11 o'clock at night should be moon and starlit skies waking up to sunshine Saturday morning it lasts all day it should be a, a very pretty day on Saturday but just a little bit cooler than today and Sunday. Right this morning, I have us in the low 40s. That light rain, especially south and east, not as cold of a start this morning. Upper 50s by 4 o'clock this afternoon. So it's a late in the day where we see these high temperatures, clearing skies, milder temperatures overnight. And this is actually for this evening, about 45 by 8 o'clock in the evening. And then those temperatures drop all the way down to about 30 degrees for a nighttime low. So it's a chilly start Saturday morning, but again, mostly sunny skies. And we reach that high around 51 degrees at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, back down to 42 at 8 o'clock in the evening. A little more cloud cover on Sunday, but still nice day. 58 degrees Monday, 63 backdoor cold front may try to sneak through here at some point on Tuesday. If it's late in the day, we hit that high of 61 comes through a little bit earlier. We may be in the 50s by Tuesday, and I do have us in the 50s for highs Wednesday and Thursday, so a little bit cooler of a finish to next week. You can get the updated future cast WPRI.com anytime a day. That's also where you go to submit a picture for